Hello and welcome to another video of time series forecasting. In this video, I'm going to talk about another method of uh, time series decomposition, which is called STL decomposition or seasonal and trend decomposition using low S function. This is a very robust and versatile method of uh, decomposing a time series into three of its uh, components. Now, one advantage of uh, STL decomposition over some of the previous uh, decomposition methods that we discussed is that uh, you can decompose a time series with any type of uh, seasonality using uh, STL decomposition and uh, this type of decomposition is not uh, limited to monthly and uh, quarterly data as was the case of uh, some of the other methods that I discussed earlier. Remember, in some of the previous decomposition methods, our seasonal component was fixed from time to time and we were not allowing the seasonal component to change over time, which is kind of a very rigid assumption. In the STL decomposition, we allow the seasonal component to change over time to capture any seasonal variations over time. And another advantage is that the smoothness of the trend cycle component can be controlled by the user now STL decomposition is very robust to outliers as I said earlier now besides uh, these advantages there are also some disadvantages of STL decomposition as well the first is that uh, it does not uh, handle trading day or calendar variations uh, automatically and also it only provides uh, decomposition for additive or decomposition However, there is a way around uh, to work with multiplicative uh, decomposition using STL. That is, you can first take uh, logs of the data and then back transform uh, the components uh, to get the uh, components on the original scale. And remember, by taking the log, you are transforming the multiplicative model into an additive model. So these are some of uh, the advantages and uh, disadvantages of uh, STL decomposition. Next, let's go to R and uh, work with an example. Okay, so here uh, we are working with the same data that I showed you earlier. It is the electric equipment data and our data looks something like this and we can see there is very strong seasonality in this uh, data set. So let's go ahead and decompose this series into the trend cycle component, the seasonal component and uh, the remainder component. So looking at uh, this decomposition, it seems like there's a slight upward trend in the beginning of uh, the series. Then the trend is kind of stable in this part of the series and then we see a downward uh, trend in this part of the series. And then we have uh, the seasonal component and the remainder component. So this is how you can uh, use STL decomposition using the lowest function which has many advantages over some of the previous methods that we discussed. In the next video I'm going to show you how to forecast uh, using uh, these decomposition methods. Alright I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.